Hi, BJ Posnecki with Inspect and Check. We're gonna shift gears today and uh, go back to doing a how-to video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a Moen Posi temp cartridge, okay? The part number is 1222, okay? And now how you can differentiate. So Moen does have a few different styles. So they got the Moen Posi temp, they've got the regular pullout, uh, and then you just turn cold to hot. But how you can tell the Moen Posi temp is when it, the handle is in the off position, it's down in the six o'clock position, and then you turn it counterclockwise, and it goes from cold to hotter. This video will be just for how to replace the Moen Posi temp. Now, the other Moen products are similar. Um, the other style, uh, the Moen pullout and uh, twist and turn. There is an actual Moen cartridge puller. You don't need it for this particular project that we're gonna do, but with um, Moen uh, faucets and the other style shower valves, you're, um, you may need the Moen uh, cartridge puller, which is a special tool. Before we begin, Let's just go ahead and we're gonna turn off the water to the house. You're gonna wanna locate where your main water shutoff valve is, okay? Now, if you live in a house or a townhouse, typically, you know, you'll have one somewhere in the basement, a mechanical room somewhere. Now, where things could possibly get a little complicated or tricky is if you live in a condo. Each condo building is a little bit different. You may have a main water shutoff valve in your unit. There may be individual valves that turn off, let's say, you know, the bathroom, uh, the kitchen, you know, wherever there's water supplies, there may be uh, individual valves where you need a special key. I've seen a lot of different things. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to do this on a, in a condo, you know, you may want to do a little due diligence before you do anything to make sure that you actually have access to the water shut off. So we're going to go ahead and shut the water off here at the main valve. Okay, which you know is typically perpendicular when you turn these valves and the handle is perpendicular, that's off, parallel is on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this faucet down here just to let the water drain out so that when we go back upstairs, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the shower valve a little bit just so that this way that water can run out and there's not water sitting right there that'll leak out when we pull the cartridge out. We have our water off, we're gonna go ahead and open up the cartridge and just let the water, any water drain out and get some air in there, okay? And we'll can, we can go ahead and leave this in the upward position. It's usually easier to work from the top down. Moen, for taking the handle off, the set screw, the Allen's, Allen wrench that you need is a 764, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you got a 764 Allen wrench before starting this project. So we're gonna go ahead and start with taking the handle off. We need a number two Phillips screwdriver for taking this screw off here. Now, if you guys are going to get a screwdriver, I recommend for a homeowner getting this six, uh, six way screwdriver. So it has a number, it has the bigger Phillips and flathead on one side the smaller Phillips and flathead on the other. And then these can be used as nut drivers. I believe, don't hold me to it, I believe this is quarter inch and this is 5 16 the most commonly uh, used nut driver sizes. So it's, uh, it's these things are like $10 at, at, at Home Depot. They're great, I love them. So it's almost kind of like an all-in-one. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this screw off and this piece off take the temperature limit off, okay? So if while we're doing this, if you need more hot water, this is how you adjust the maximum temperature on a Moen Posi temp uh, shower. I actually did a, a whole separate video on this, but what you could do is you can take this apart, okay? And the more you turn the front clockwise, the colder the water. Okay, so I, uh, you know, one of the biggest complaints I always got from people was they just never had enough hot water and it would take forever to get hot. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this where it's off, okay? So this is full hot water and 
you know, this is, you know, again, the farther away the plumbing fixture is from the hot water heater, the longer it's going to take to get hot water. So this is the hottest water and the fastest you're going to get hot water to this location. Pull out the excussion tube. We're going to remove the cover plate with these two screws here. So we're going to take these two screws out. In this case, we have a bead of clear silicone caulk around this plate. So we're going to take our razor knife and we're going to go ahead and go all the way around here and break that seal so we can pull this plate off. After removing the cover plate, if you have all of this caulk remaining, go ahead and let's, we want to remove all of this. And then when we put the new, when we put the plate back on, we want to put a fresh bead of caulk. We don't want to put it back on and then try to caulk around this. It just gets to the point where you just keep building on caulk on top of caulk and it just looks sloppy. If you have trouble getting this caulk off, you can use a flat blade screwdriver. Just be careful because if you have something like this glass tile here, you know, or, you know, different finishes of tile um, are prone to scratching. So you just kind of want to go easy. I'm just light, you know, pushing some light pressure on here just to get this, um, this caulk off. I personally like using lineman's pliers. These are an actual electrical tool. If you guys don't have these, uh, a regular pair of uh, pliers should be fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull this clip out right up top here. If you can see that, I'm just going to pull straight up and grab the cartridge. I'm going to give it just a, some easy twists back and forth just to kind of loosen it up. And then I'm going to, you know, as I'm doing that, I'm also pulling towards me a little bit. And I'm just going to push in at this point and then turn. And then the cartridge pushes out off on the valve here and comes out and then I'll just at this point go ahead and give it keep twisting and pulling until the cartridge comes out before we install the new cartridge I always like to flush out the pipes because there's debris there's sediment there's things that get caught up in the cartridge or can get caught up in the cartridge. And then sometimes there's just stuff in the line or stuff in the valve. So while we have the cartridge out, and this is always easier to do if you have another person that's at home where you can get on the phone with them, have one person up here to watch the water come out, and then have another person go downstairs and turn the water back on. I, put, I like to put a rag here because there's gonna be some water that drips down. And what we want to do is we want to flush out, we want to turn that water on, we want to get a rush of water to flush out any debris or anything that's in here. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Like I said, it's always easier if you have somebody else to give you a hand. But if you're by yourself, what, we'll just, what I'll do is I'll close this door. We flushed out our valve. Now we're going to go ahead and get the cartridge ready to be the new cartridge to be installed. So it'll come with this package of lubricant. So we want to rip this open here. There should be some perforations. And what we want to do is lube up the rubber parts. So we've got these two, uh, we've got these two black inserts and then we've got this o-ring so we're going to go ahead and just put this uh, lube on our finger and we are going to go ahead and rub these parts down and work it in definitely use it uh, be generous with it sometimes you know, I even like to give, even though this is plastic, I just like to give everything a little bit of uh, lube, just, uh, you know, makes makes things nice going back, back in here. Okay, I'm going to wipe my hands down before we move forward so we're not getting this lubricant all over everything. I'm going to go ahead and put the cartridge back in. Now, my apologies, I kind of forgot an important piece. So before you take the cartridge out, so you're going to see this HC hot cold and then you're just going to see this side with this dash. 
Well, these valves are made to be uh, installed in a couple different in two in a couple different ways depending on your supplies. So you're gonna want to make sure you install this cartridge the way your old one was. So in our case here, this actually was upside down here. Okay, so it's very important that you put the cartridge back, the new cartridge, the way you found or the way the other one was installed. I'm gonna push it so that it's nice and flush to the valve. You'll see this notch here. We wanna make sure that that's flush. And now we're gonna put our U-clip back in. So sometimes these can be a little bit of a challenge. You know, what you wanna do is slide it in from the top down and then you really want to make you it's very important that the legs of this clip you know go all the way through sometimes you may if they even push the bottom in a little bit sometimes your best bet is is like this one see i got a little there's a little bit of a curvature i'm going to go ahead and turn it around and put it and try it that way okay oh look at see look at how how nice and easy it went in so that was that was good i'm glad we just uh ran into that so um, if you're having a tough time getting this in bend these legs a little bit see how they got a little bit of a curvature and then do the bend where they're facing back towards the back side of the valve here and then it slides in nice and neat put the excussion tube back on before moving forward and putting everything back together i want you to turn the water on take anything that's out of the tub in the shower I want you to turn the water back on. One, we wanna check and make sure that nothing is leaking, okay, while we have this all open, we could see in behind the wall, as well as you may need to grab your pliers, okay, and on the cartridge stem, which is this brass stem right here, okay, you could see there, there, there's some flat on the top and the bottom, there's some flat edges here. What we need to do is you may need to turn this stem, okay? We know that, you know, down is off and then we go from cold to hot, right? And then max hot is like this nine o'clock position. So what you may need to do is actually turn the stem. We wanna make sure that it's, you know, we're going from off colder to hotter, okay? And then get it to this off position before we put everything back together this way because there's the parts that we're going to put back on have stops on them you know for the maximum uh temperature you know so you can limit the temperature if you want to reduce it down or whatnot so it's really important that you know we've got we just double check this that it, there's no leaks as well as that this stem is in the proper position before putting everything else back together we're gonna put our cover plate back on. So we're gonna line up the notch with the plate here and then fish our screws in and go ahead and get that resecured. Once I'm done, we'll go ahead, I'll reapply the bead of silicone caulk around the plate. When you're tightening up these screws, don't over tighten them because it could start to like here, we've got a good solid wall here, but if it's a uh, fiberglass shower surround, you could possibly push the surround in, maybe cracking it, and as well as pulling the valve out towards you. So just, you know, there's a rubber gasket behind here, even though we have to put a little caulk right here just because of this border, but there's a rubber gasket behind here that seals it. So all we do want to do is just tighten up both of these screws where it's nice and snug. No need to over tighten it or use a drill. Put our restrictor. So again, if we're going for full hot water, we want this in line with this notch here. If you guys want to make it colder, then you're just going to want to turn it clockwise and that will reduce the maximum temperature so but we're going to go ahead we want full so we're going to go ahead and put that where that is go ahead and give that a push in there all right we're going to put on our handle mounting piece okay so again we know that this goes on like so screw back in here you hold right here with your thumb as you tighten down on this thing just because we don't want to push 
the cartridge uh, or overturn it in a way it's not supposed to go. Go ahead and install the handle and put the set screw back in here. So like I said, a lot of this, you know, if you want, you could always go back downstairs and turn the water off so that this way you can turn it because it's always easier to work, you know, upright, you know, and then put the screw in, you know, and tighten everything off. So if you want to do it this way with the water on or it may be easier for you to go back downstairs and turn the water off so you can turn it in the upright position. Go ahead and just finish tightening up the set screw on that handle. Make sure you got it, you know, good. Don't strip it out, but make sure it's on there so that this handle doesn't come loose and you're all done. So I, my main thing I would just say is before you start this project, it's a simple project. You're definitely a homeowner with just a little bit of mechanical ability can do this one. Just make sure before you just do anything, you turn the water off, very important. And then when you turn it off, just make sure that it actually is completely off because some of these I have ran into where the shutoff valves get old and they don't completely stop the water. So you just do that first and make sure the water is off before you dive into this. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.